Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to use XSplit with your AverMedia Live Gamer HD. It's very simple and I like this program a lot more than the REC Center or Central that comes with the AverMedia HD just because you have a lot more options. So I'm just going to go step by step how you do it and then if you have any questions post them in the comments or if something's not working for you and I'll try and help you figure it out. Alright so first thing we're going to do after we open XSplit is hit add, add camera and the AverMedia HD capture. Then it will be in one of your buses. Yours might be a different one, doesn't really matter. Alright so you can see I have a gameplay going right now. And we're just going to drag this screen and now we have a full screen. So now we have it full screens already covered simple as that now if you want to add like let's say you want to add your webcam we're gonna add camera find your webcam mine's the Logitech HD webcam there I am beautiful as always just woke up alright so then we're just gonna drag it make it a little smaller you know um, just do it however you want if you want it in the corner put it in the corner if you want it somewhere else just do whatever alright so I like it there and then if we want to have just a little title, say we want to have a little title, we're going to hit add title. And let's say you want to put your li or your uh, Twitter handle. So we'll put our Twitter handle, hit OK. There it is, it's huge. So we're going to make it a little smaller here and then drag it up. There you go. So we got our Twitter handle our webcam and our game. Alright, so how do we publish it to the internet? That's a good question. So we're gonna broadcast. So hit broadcast, edit channels, and then you're gonna add a channel and we're gonna add whatever kind of channel you're using. I'm gonna show how to use Twitch TV because that's what most people will be using here. So our username is that. And then our password type it in. This is just my uh, test account that I use so when I'm just working on my stream trying to figure stuff out I'll use this one. Alright then your bitrate this is the quality you're actually gonna have I'm just gonna put 1500 that works well with my internet you can put a little higher if you want you can go lower if your internet isn't the greatest but I like 1500 and everyone can download it and watch it very easily so I keep it at that I just keep these settings how they are. Um, if you use it with the computer, you're going to want to switch it to this codec, the AverMedia HD, but if you're using it with your Xbox, it won't matter. So, I just keep it at that. Hit OK. Uh, mine already exists, so I'm just going to use the one that already exists, but after that, hit OK. Then go to Tools, General Settings. Alright, now this is where your microphone is actually going to come through the mix. So I use my Blue Yeti, but I can't use it right now because I'm already using it to record this video. So use whatever microphone you use to stream or to talk into and click it. And then all you're going to do is if you have a delay, which you don't in your stream, you're going to just keep the delay at zero. And that's it really. That's that's it for that. Here's your channels list again. Alright, so resolutions. You're gonna go to resolutions and pick the resolution that you want. 1020 by 720. 1280 by 720. This is 720p, which is what I use. So I just hit apply. Okay. Then you're gonna to go to view up here, resolution. Choose that resolution. Then go down to frame rate. Alright, choose 29.97. That's your Xbox's native frame rate. That's what you're gonna get with the Xbox. Then you can leave the other stuff at whatever. Alright, so now we're actually ready to start streaming. Alright, we have all the things set up. So we're just going to click on broadcast and pick on the stream. We're going to Hable test at the moment. Alright, so here it is. A live view of your broadcast has been put in there. Alright, so let's copy and paste. We copy and paste it. We load for a moment. And now we wait and we hope that it works. And we have a working stream. 
All right. So there we go. Um, one last thing I was going to say is make sure you don't have your stream open on the computer that you're streaming with. So if you want to talk to your chat or moderate it or anything, use a laptop or something, all right? Because if you go into your stream on the computer that is streaming it with XSplit, it'll have this weird echo effect and it'll start sounding like a dubstep remix of Halo in your voice. So it's just a weird thing that happens. I don't know why it happens, but it happens to everyone. So I would switch it and just use a laptop or something to moderate and to talk to your buddies. All right, so that's it. If you have any questions, write it in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I have a lot of Let's Plays and stuff coming out soon, so please subscribe. Have a good day.